Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to RNG abuse in uh, Pokemon Black and White 2 and Black and White 1 for the Wonder Card Pokemon. Um, so the things you'll need for this RNG abuse are the normal, the two chat outs with the recorded chatter, uh, the RNG reporter program and the Eon Timer program. Uh, you're going to obviously need to have the Wonder Card uh, ready to receive. Um, you can have either this, uh, obtain this legitimately, or you could have it, uh, if you use Action Replay to put it in, um, you can actually still RNG that regularly. Um, another thing you're going to need is a Pokemon Center where there's no moving NPCs, or there's no, uh, no NPCs at all. So in Black and White 1, uh, the, there's no NPCs in um, the Elite Four Pokemon Center, and uh, in Black and White 2, I'm in Nimbasa City, and there's no moving NPCs there, but if you could find one... Uh, that doesn't have any moving NPCs, then you're fine there as well. Okay, with all that stuff out of the way, we're going to go into RNG Reporter. Uh, I'll be RNGing a Genesec today. Uh, I received it a long time ago, whenever like the event was given out legitimately with the intention of RNGing it, and then uh, and then he got put to, he got banned to Ubers, and I don't play Ubers, so I just never I never RNGed him. All right, so we're going to go into fifth gen Time Finder on the main window, and then so here you're going to want to click down to the wonder card option. The Glan wonder card is only for gendered Pokemon, so only pick that if the Pokemon can have a gender. So I'm picking regular wonder card, uh, and then you're gonna wanna check off every month to give yourself the most options. And then you wanna go into the profile and pick if you want key presses or not. Uh, this is for the how many advances you're willing to do, which is just how many times you're willing to listen to chat up. Uh, if you don't find anything between 0 and 100, just increase the maximum advances to like 1,000 or whatever until you find something you want. Um, you're going to want to pick your stats. Since I'm going for a Genesect, I need every single stat to be perfect. And for natures, um, so one thing to note about this type of RNG abuse is you have to pick the nature in this window because the nature is tied to the IV frames. So you can't miss an IV frame and then... Uh, or miss a uh, nature frame and have perfect IV still. You need to have um, the nature match the IV frame. So you're going to have to pick your nature here. Um, so I'm going for a hasty or a naive one. So I can have max of both, both attacking stats and still have good speed. Uh, don't check shiny only. Uh, what you have to check here is the, the shininess. So, uh, my Genesect is never shiny. You can't have a shiny Genesect uh, from this event. So you just have to pick it cor uh, correspondingly. Usually it'll be never shiny or always shiny. I think very rare amount of events are maybe shiny. So uh, just Google if your event can be shiny or not. Uh, usually you'll know though. So this Genesect is never shiny. And then I'm going to hit generate uh, and I'll meet you back when I have some seeds to choose from. So I actually got a seed. I got one seed really, really quickly. So. As you can see, it's hasty, and all of the stats are perfect. Uh, it's on this timer zero, which I'll probably miss 10 times because it's white two. And it's got the time. Uh, the one thing to note here is the frame here will not match up with the uh, frame you'll do in the main window, and you'll see that in a second. So right click the seed, hit copy seed to clipboard. Uh, in the main window, you're going to want to scroll down to Wonder Card 5th Gen or Glan Wonder Card 5th Gen if you did a Glan Wonder Card. So I'm doing regular Wonder Card check if it's black and white 2 memory link or if the roamer is released depending on your game and what's going on in it paste your seed and calculate initial PID frame and then hit generate so as you can see the hasty natured uh, Genesect with all these stats here is actually on frame 67 uh, the time finder tells us it's frame 69 but this window is the correct one so just ignore the frame 69 uh, as with the uh, advances, we're going to advance, uh, we'll probably start on frame 1 or frame uh, frame 49 here, and we're going to have to advance all the way to frame 66, uh, one frame before we res uh, the frame we want. So I want it on frame 67, but you stop at frame 66 and then you talk to the guy to get your Pokemon. Okay, so with all that out of the way, we're going to go down to uh, Time Finder again to put in our time. Oops, so I think I have the correct date already. Yeah. And it's 2 19 
Okay, and go into Eon Timer and pick your time, 35 seconds, and start your DS and your uh, Eon Timer at the same time. So start Eon Timer and your uh, DS clock at the same time, and double check your time finder to see if you have any key presses. I do not have any, so uh, I won't be holding any buttons, but when you start the game, if you have key presses, you will be holding whatever buttons the, the time finder says. Um, Keep in mind, in Black and White 2, uh, you're going to miss your timer zero a few times, probably. Uh, it took me about five tries to get this attempt, um, to get everything correct. Uh, but, like I said, it's just random fluctuation with the timer zero. There's no real... Uh, it's, it's pretty much luck, I'd say, is the best way to put it. Um, so, like I said, I'm not holding any buttons down. Because uh, I don't have any key presses, but if you did, you'd be holding your buttons down. Once the Game Freak star flashes, you can start booting your game up. And uh, boot everything up like normal uh, until it says the C gear. Don't launch the C gear. And go straight into your Pokemon menu and listen to your chat outs. Now, uh, remember, so in my time finder, it said frame uh, 69 for me, but I actually have to get to frame 67. Uh, I don't know why there's this discrepancy, but there is. So, uh, just line up the cries and advance to the necessary place. And I'm almost there. So I'm at 66, because in this one the spread is 67. But my time finder said 69, and I don't want 69. So talk to him the frame before the, where your spread is at in the main window, and it should be correct. So I'll check my Genesect here. Uh, I don't know level 15 Gen 6 stats, but he's a hasty nature, which is the nature I wanted. And I'm in Nimbasa, so I'm gonna go check. Uh, I'm gonna go check uh, with the the judge. Now it appeared my um, starting frame was also incorrect. I don't know if that is a flaw in RNG Reporter or a flaw in uh, Nimbasa actually had a moving NPC that I couldn't see. Uh, as you can see, all his stats are perfect. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, see you next time.